folks. It's the morning of the uh, night before when I set up in the dark. Well, dusk actually. Got a little bait. One bait down out of the bay there. Another bait out of the water. Um, nothing really. Didn't even hear any fish. So, when I get back later on today to do the day, I clearly won't be fishing here, I don't think. Just don't feel they're uh, in this area at the moment. It's worth a punt, I must admit. But, um, well, you see the state of me, the cooking mat and everything. It's well frosty. So, I think uh, days might be in order for a little bit. And then nights, I might start doing them again next week. I can't do anything this weekend, so I'm a bit busy, so... It's clearly... I have to uh, have a little bit of a mooch around today for a couple of hours. When I come back from dropping the kids off, and then stick the rods out, and see where we go from there. Really? Well, that was a good choice. Anyway, I better get packing up. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, folks. Thanks for watching as usual. Hi, guys. Following on from uh, last night's session. I'm uh, done the school run, dropped the kids off. I'm back out again on the big lake. Quite an area for fish this time. So I'm going to sort of uh, put a couple of bags on at the moment. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of uh, netting around in one of the areas, see what we can find. And in general, just sort of poke around and see what we can see. We uh, fished over there, on that island over there yesterday. Not yesterday, the day before. And that's where we saw fish out the front of here. And it's very similar conditions. So what I'm hoping is the fish are either still out there, or there's a feature they like to feed on out there. And, uh, well, hopefully it might produce something for me. It'll be very interesting if I see anything today. We'll see how, just to see how we get on really. As ever, there's always a bit of a learning curve here for the first uh, sort of week or two. Trying to work out where exactly they're located. Some swans on here, mooching around. Other than that, there's one other guy on I can see at the moment. And, uh, well, looking quite good realistically. Alright, catch up with you later. Well, morning guys. Back out from my first trip after the uh, big one at Farnborough at the weekend. Did a bit of stuff for bait tech on their stand. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. Good fun. Nice to meet everyone, especially if anyone's watching these videos. Thank you very much for popping along. It's fantastic to see you all. Anyway, I'm going to have to whisper slightly a little bit today because as you might have noticed, I'm fishing in a nice little snaggy, bayy corner of the lake. And uh, hopefully, we shall get a fish on the bank. Good to see. But we have one bait just under there. And the other bait is just under that tree there. There's a nice little margin over there for fish too. But uh, I think we're going to sort of leave it where they are at the moment. I've put uh, a few small pellets out, a couple of bags, scattered a bit of broken broilies up. That's about that. I'm just going to sit back and wait. Wait for the sunshine to get into the swim. Actually goes behind me the sunshine in this swim, so it's quite nice. Wind's pushing sort of, uh, across a little tiny little bit into this corner, so it's not too bad. So we're still like, early spring at the moment. Let's we'll see how we get on here today. Gives me a little bit of view of the lake. So I'm back again doing tonight. So we need to uh, do a little bit of leading around and markering later on before I leave. See how we get on. Planning on sort of fishing a swim that gives me access to the bank up there. We'll see how we get on. Right. I better go now. I need to be quiet, silent, and just sit back and chill. See you later, folks. Have a good day. Don't forget to catch up on uh, my blogs and everything on richardhandle.com. Speak to you soon. Well, guys, the sun's out. It's looking good. It's lovely and warm. The sun's on my back. It's absolutely gorgeous out here at the moment. Hopefully, uh, 
should produce a fish worthy of a photograph I hope um, I've got some well, the session is slightly shorter than I would do normally because I'm back again tonight and I want to do a little bit of leading around and markering in a couple of areas because I won't get back until sort of uh, last light tonight so I'd like to give myself a couple of options where to fish before I uh, settle down really for the night it gives me sort of a little bit of a head start on tonight a couple of areas where I could go you can see if I sort of pan round to the main lake and everything like that it's quite nice the other side over there there's another sort of second part of the lake and then behind that there's the third part of the lake there's channels that link them all together but this is looking quite good really see no no fishy signs at the moment unfortunately so I don't know whether it's a good choice or a bad choice but we have to find out and have to be here to find out so speak soon folks bye bye now oh this is the first time i made to do a video during the week for a long time i've made it out onto the uh, big pit the airfield lake as i call it I did fish this swim a couple of nights ago saw fish but failed put a bit of bait out maybe fished too much bait don't know so what I'm going to do this time is uh, just single hook baits of the spots I've baited at before. And hopefully the fish will be searching in those areas for some food. Let me just stand up, I'll show you around. There you go, you get a good view there. Nice sunset going down, can't argue with that can you? Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just fishing a sort of small bay area of the uh, north bank of the lake uh, currently I've got a bait out there towards those reeds a nice little uh, silty area about five foot of water and I've got a bait out there towards those trees on a spot also in the same sort of uh, depth of water see how we get on bivvies out flasks out I never tend to bring a stove when I'm doing sessions like this. Just uh, let's get the flask out, have a, cup of, have a cup of coffee or two, and be gone really. We've got to pack up in the dark, so there's no point in bothering with the uh, cooking equipment like that. I haven't got the time for that. But uh, yeah, it's looking quite nice and peaceful. I might have to take a photo of that. It's quite a good little, uh, quite like that. And, uh, that's quite a good little one as well. But yeah, so hopefully I've got a couple of washed out pop-ups on each. And uh, I've got bags on. Sort of uh, micro pellets, bait tech micro pellets, soaked in polonia oil. Stinking well. It's all good. Bit of attraction out there. Bring them in. So I haven't really seen much since I got down here. Spoke to a guy this afternoon that I know was fishing over the other side. Did last night. Didn't really see much. So, uh, funny you should mention that. I've just seen a fish. Top. Way over there. There you go. Bit blurry, I realise. Bit shaky. But that was a fish. Unfortunately, we can't fish that bank. That sort of uh, gives them a little bit of a sanctuary area. And uh, clearly they know it. So hopefully they'll move out there as night progresses. Might catch some, uh, but uh, yeah, no, it's, it's nice to be out during the week. Nice to be out in daylight. Nice to be nearly eight o'clock at night. It's still light. Nice not to have a rush. And uh, spring is well and truly upon us. Those lovely fishing days that we remember are clearly back. And time should be good. I think there's going to be a frost tonight, but that's sort of what you expect. Sort of uh, late March, early April. Still get frost through April, so it's not really an issue, really. Anyway, I shall leave you with that. Looking absolutely fantastic. And um, hopefully we'll catch up with a uh, video blog of a fish or two. You never know. Alright, welcome back to my, my uh, next fishing expedition. I'm out uh, for 24 hours. Doing a little bit of uh, fishing on the far margins over there in the snags. Under the tree line. Should be pretty good, I hope. Put a little bit of bait out, some spod mix out, 
loads of hemp, maples and things. A few boilies over the top. You can hear the woodpeckers chattering away. I've got my daughter in tow. She's hiding in the bivvy. So, we'll see how we get on. We'll do a spot of float fishing with her later on. Down in the margins in that tree there. That's a good likely spot for a few little uh, roach and small stuff. And uh, hopefully in the night I'll creep into this bay. And I should get one myself. Should be quite good news. Anyway, we'll update you later and see how we get on. See you later now. Hi everyone, welcome to my fishing vlog again. I've uh, sat for two nights this week. Out on the big pit, I'm sort of on the top end of it. And the back of the wind, because the wind, despite the fact it's sort of westerly, it's still got a bit of a chill to it at the moment. Even though it's going to sort of creep round to the southwest a bit, I think the uh, being on the back of the wind or on the side of the wind has got to be the ob obvious choice at the moment. I've seen a few fish move along the tree lines at the moment over there, so hopefully we've got some baits out there, baited up out there. Should get some action over the next 48 hours, which will be. Uh, be good news. Hopefully this lake will start waking up a little bit, which will be even better. And uh, should bag a few. Anyway, I shall uh, update you with my progress as we go along. See you later now. Cheers, thanks for watching as usual. morning guys, I'm out for another trip. By the wind's blowing at the moment, so the bank I was interested in is it's got too much of a chill on it at the moment. I had a good look along there, there's some Polaroids on, and there's no signs of any sort of fish digging or anything at all. I've come around here, with a little bit more sort of uh, signs of fishy movement. The spot I was on the other day, someone's fishing on it, so maybe there's been some stuff out there. It's going to be a bit sort of... Uh, overcast as the day progresses it's about 10 o'clock now just after and the sun's been out most of the morning so i'm hoping it's just sort of warmed this bank along here for the amount of time it's been open or out and um well we just, just just have to see if a fish roams along really um i'm just using small godman pva bags bait tech micro pellets soaked in polony oil just flick them along i haven't put that much bait out, mainly because I know the spawn is going to be along here at some point. I don't really want to attack, I don't really want to sort of attract the spawn into my area, really. To see how we get on. And this also gives me a good vision of the lake where I am at the moment. There's a small island out there that I'll be quite interested at. And there's a point over there, just seeing the calm area. Unfortunately, while I've been filming this, the sun's gone in, stuck me on a cloud. There's a couple of areas I'm sort of interested in. See if there's any sort of fishy movement, and uh, what I might do is uh, spawn some bait out before I go, because I'll be back tomorrow for the day. And I might be doing tomorrow night as well, just see how we get on, really. Anyway, I shall uh, love you and leave, leave you all, and uh, talk soon. Cheers now. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Afternoon, guys and girls. Welcome to another trip out on the big lake. The weather is looking uh, quite reasonable. A lot of warmth in that sunshine at the moment, which is good because the wind's from the north, stroke northwest at the moment. And there's clearly a chill in that wind, which is uh, not very pleasant to say the least. The sun goes out and you're on the wrong side of it. 
I'm fishing the same swim as I fished the other night. I had one and uh, lost one. So I feel it's a good productive area at the moment. Considering the amount of water in front of me, I'm fishing my favourite location as always. Literally under my rod tips. Well, not quite my rod tips. Just out there, about a rod and a half lengths off the bank. And the other one is about a rod and a half length off that point out there. So hopefully, we'll intercept some fish. See how we get on. I'm hopeful of the fish this afternoon, the way the weather is. But you just never know with these little fish. You can be funny buggers. People have hauled from this swim in the afternoon and then people have then gone back and blanked again for the same conditions. So I think they move around in big shoals and groups. So if you haven't got one of them around in front of you, it's clearly not going to happen. Anyway, hopefully I'll update you later. If I'm really lucky, I'll get a fish and a fish on video, which would be quite good to see how we get on anyway there's the old set up there, all ready to go wasteling and hooking map, all set got to be prepared, not even this mucking around at night or anything do we but there you go till later oh Morning guys and girls, I've woken up to a very uh, cold and damp pack up this morning and much to my amazement, despite having a fair few line bites first thing on the dark last night, absolutely nothing along these margins here. I can't believe it's one of their favourite patrol routes. However, obviously not last night. There's a few fish crashing out. Sorry about the wobbling. A few fish crashing out by the island in the night. But in general, there's fish everywhere around here normally. Can't believe the cold wind put them off and spank. But anyway, something did. There's not a lot I can do about that, so uh, we'll be back in a couple of days' time for a day session. See where we can uh, wiggle one out from, and hopefully the wind uh, will have a little bit of warmth coming in it soon. Looking at the forecast, I don't really think so for the whole of this week, realistically. Which I think is going to uh, confuse them even more. Just have to see uh, how we go and how we get on. Anyway, thank you for watching as normal. Don't forget to catch up on my website, richardhander.com. Find me on Twitter, find me on Facebook, Instagram, anything like that. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you soon. Hi guys, we're back out for another trip. Hopefully, uh, do better than the last time. Nice sunny, warm day. Drop the baits in the margins. All should be good. Evening, folks. I'm tucked up in a nice little uh, shallow bay tonight. The days have been increasingly warmer. The fish were clouding up in here the other day. So I'm going to take a punt, give it a go tonight, and uh, maybe come back again and do a day session tomorrow. Depends what happens tonight. Could be more of a day area than a night area. But uh, we need to find these things out, and we need to have a go. So we'll defeat the carp as much as we can, and see how we get on. There you go. I'll catch up with you later. Hi folks. We're back out for 48 hours this weekend. I've got a friend joining me, so I've decided to be nice and social. I have a glass of red wine or two, 
I've come back on the island. It's the best option to fish. I've changed sort of slightly the positions I've fished. A bit further away from the tree line snags and not so far out. Hopefully that might make a difference and I won't lose any fish. I still believe I lost the fish. Look at that. And sunken boulders and things which are inevitably live in here. Most people complain there's a snag in every swim. So I think I just uh, found my swim. Found my swim? Found my snag. Unfortunately, twice in a row. Let's see if we get on. So it's quite a pleasant evening. So it's 9 o'clock now. Sun's going down. It's still light. Well, on summer. I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Bye now. Absolutely no doubt about it, they are spawning. Well, it seems the airfield lake has warmed up enough for the fish to start spawning. Unbelievable, considering how hard it's been fishing. You can perceive it's possible. Would you? Not really. Literally all over the margins and shallows and everything. Explains a lot, doesn't it, at the moment? Morning guys, the fish have totally gone into spawning mode now, overnight, they were a little quite a bit yesterday afternoon to be fair, which is quite interesting, as the stock levels in here are basically unknown, and what sort of fish are basically unknown, 
I was pleasantly surprised to um, discover there's a, a fair few more mirror carp in here than I thought. It was actually quite good to see. And uh, spotted quite a nice leather as well. So, I don't think it was uh, that much of a fruitful trip. It's a bit unfortunate that the fish started to spawn. From one point of view, but from the other point of view, it's absolutely fantastic to see some of what was actually in here. What we saw of what was in here. In our area, they were spawning sort of all over. If you mix that up a little bit as well, hopefully a few other people did a bit of fish spotting yesterday, we can get some idea of uh, numbers in here, the real size of some of the fish, and uh, the mirror common split. So, just have to wait and see on that one. That looks quite interesting. A lot more mirrors than I thought there were, to say the least. Anyway, we've had a load of rain in the night. Sort of put everything down and make it all a little bit quieter. I was hoping for a fish. But I uh, think not really. Right, catch up with you soon, folks. Don't forget to uh, keep looking on the blog. Keep reading my articles. Keep watching and subscribing. It'll be fantastic. Thank you very much.